So I want to take a few minutes to discuss the difference between Mendelian disorders versus complex diseases or traits. And so linkage analysis uh, historically has been really prevalent in part because linkage analysis is, is pretty good at finding genetic causes of Mendelian disorders. And so just to recap, a Mendelian disorder is generally speaking a disorder that is driven by uh, like single you know mutations in a single gene. And so this is uh, in contrast to polygenic uh, traits, which are uh, controlled and driven by many genes. And so uh, the reason for this is that in Mendelian disorders, uh, genetic risk factors are highly penetrant. And so penetrance basically refers to the fraction of individuals who have a genetic variant and also exhibit uh, a pheno the phenotype that you're studying. And so if you have high penetrance, that means that every time you see this particular variant, um, you know, you'll oftentimes see the corresponding phenotype that you're looking for. Um, that's, you know, it's also worth pointing out that you can have high penetrant variants, but that doesn't mean that every disease incidence is caused by that genetic variant. Because if that genetic variant is rare, then even if it causes the disease, every time you see that genetic variant, if it's rare, then, uh, you know, it, it doesn't cause, it's not responsible for the vast majority of cases of a particular disease, for example. And so, unfortunately, uh, most common diseases that you've likely heard of, like cancer, diabetes, schizophrenia, uh, pretty much you name it, uh, it's, it's a complex trait. In complex traits, complex traits are, are typically uh, driven by variation in a large number of genes. And so, for example, uh, if you take like a complex trait like height, um, there are like thousands and thousands of genetic variants all across the genome that are implicated in variation in height. Um, and so this is obviously very different from Mendelian disorders, where it's generally speaking one gene that's primarily responsible for that trait, even though you can have modifier genes or whatever. Um, and so one of the, one of the hallmark traits about complex traits is that um, genetic variants that are associated with those traits tend to have lower effect sizes um, than uh, than in Mendelian disorders. And so what that means is that uh, genetic variants that are associated with complex traits on average don't have as much of an effect individually as they would with Mendelian disorders because you know, in, as opposed to Mendelian disorders, you have hundreds or thousands of genes contributing uh, to, to variation in the strain. And so again, one of the primary motivations of um, reviewing genetics within a genomics class is that um, a large part of the world is, is interested in not only identifying genetic variants that are associated with different diseases or complex traits, but actually figuring out how they work. And so trying to distinguish, for example, which genetic variants might just be uh, disrupting protein coding sequences versus genetic variants that, for example, change the activity level of enhancers or the locations of, say, K27 acetylation, which then subtly affect the context-specific expression of a gene in a specific tissue or set of cells, which then kind of lead to some kind of cellular or uh, organizational change in a tissue and therefore contributes to disease in some way. And so... Uh, genetic, human genetics is increasingly interested in studying how genetic variation affects complex molecular phenotypes like accessibility, methylation, or uh, histone modifications. And so what's kind of interesting to note is that um, up to like 15 or 20 years ago now, um, a lot of, there was a lot more knowledge about uh, different human Mendelian traits than there were about uh, human com uh, general human complex traits. And this is in large part because sequencing was, or even genotyping was still relatively expensive up until about 15 years ago. Um, now that sequencing is super cheap and so is genotyping, uh, the number of genetic variants that have been identified is being associated with different complex traits uh, is now quickly outpacing uh, the number of for example, characterized human medallion traits. And so just to put this lecture in more of a practical context, here's a list of FDA approved drugs whose gene targets are
uh, actually supported by human genetics evidence and studies. And so you can see that human genetic studies actually has a pretty practical uh, implication on therapeutic development. 